Hey everyone, don't like or subscribe because I don't make YouTube videos, but I wanted to post something because most people feel like didn't really do a good job of showing how to fix the the self-test error when you get the, the x-axis length error. Um, I was reading online and saw a bunch of different things that it's usually causing, you know, some wires or something's in the way uh, on one of the sides or maybe the, the little zip ties are in the way and it's blocking the extruder from moving back and forth freely. Um, I didn't have that problem and I couldn't figure it out. And luckily I pulled out my, just the crap that came with my 3D printer when I bought it and I randomly saw the, uh, the lubricant and I thought maybe I'd lube it a little bit. So I lubed the two rods and it started moving freely and uh, it worked from there. So yeah, that, that's worked for me.